Hey folks, welcome to this week's show for Drawn to Whitetails. First week of November, me and uh, cameraman Josh have been hunting hard, but not much to show for it so far. Uh, we've had unseasonably warm weather, and the deer seem to be moving right at daylight and right at dark, and we just haven't been at the right place just yet. Um, some mature bucks are on their feet though. Uh, we've talked to some people that have killed some really, really nice deer, and uh, we had a couple of encounters of just a couple of days ago, um, seeing a couple of mature bucks. First part of this show, we got Josh and Tony uh, put in a ground blind on a place that Tony had been watching for well, last year and this year and seeing where the bucks are using this portion of this huge field. And then the second half of the show, we're gonna meet uh, with, uh, Blaine's gonna interview Marshall uh, Tactical Outfitters in Vianna, Illinois. They're a new sponsor and we just wanna showcase them a little bit, tell you what they have to offer. So, hope you enjoy this week's show and hopefully uh, deer start hitting the ground before too long. All right, well, we're over here with Tony, and uh, we, like I said before, we've been over here and we're brushing in a blind and on a new spot he's got here. So I'm just gonna let Tony talk about uh, why he put this blind here and you know, kind of what's going on. Well, last year I observed several mature bucks. Um, what they do is hit these bedding areas, in search of these does before the rut and during the rut. So uh, this ground, the way it lays, there's nowhere to get a stand. Uh, you know, get an ideal stand in the tree. So we put a ground blind up, as you can see here behind us. Uh, me and Josh and Drew helped me. I appreciate their help, but we got it brushed in. But those bucks corner this uh, this tree line here. So there's no good way to hunt it except the ground blind. So we wanted to get it in here. Uh, my son and I know I hunted the other afternoon a mature buck come out chasing some does and they come right by the setup. So. I just wanted to get a blind in here and put ourselves in the best position for, uh, you know, we get a right wind, we need a north wind. So next north wind we get, you can bet we'll be in this blind, so. Yeah, and y'all been getting it. several pictures, I know here and down the bottom too at, uh, of those deer. That yeah, we've run, I got four cameras over here running and uh, the deer that Noah shot earlier, he's been on there a lot at night. Uh, we picked up a bonus deer here the last few nights. Uh, about the last week of October, a pretty nice 10 pointer, looks to be four or five years old. And we've got 11 pointer running around. So so hopefully the action's gonna pick up. This weather cooperates a little bit and cools off this weekend. So hopefully we can get a shot at a mature deer. So thank you. Yeah, appreciate it. Hey, I'm Blaine Holland with Drawn to White Tail. I'm proud to introduce our newest sponsor, Harry Marshall with Marshall Tactical Outfitters and Gun Shop. And uh, he has expanded his inventory over the last couple of years and I'm excited to uh, tell you all about it. So I'd like to invite you all to come on in with us and have a look around. Harry, I know when we first walked in, the first thing that caught my eye was a deer urine in a gun store. Yes. <laughs> Can you tell me a little bit about this? Well, this is a new product we started carrying last year. Um, this is called Top Secret Deer Scent. It's uh, basically the founder's uh, Don Bell. I met him last year at uh, in Alabama, and he he actually sold me on this product. He, he gave me a kind of a, a rundown of what it was about and uh, a new kind of concept of uh, taking it a little step further as far as uh, using uh, deer scents for attracting uh, bucks as well as uh, deer in general, but uh, he's got a couple different products. Um, basically, um, the bottled urine is he's got the buck, young does, and as well as uh, um, does that are uh, mature uh, for estrus uh, urine. What he has done is taken this and created a scent saver for the urine. This is this urine has not been exposed to oxygen, uh, so oxygen mixes with the urine, creates ammonia base off of it, and it starts deteriorating. What he did is come up with a little device that you have a pump, pour your urine into this scent saver. It's got a cork, um, it's got a valve on it. You put the pump on it, basically pump the oxygen out so you can preserve your urine uh, for a longer period of time. Well, it's just stinking after a while. Exactly. Right. Um, then he took it a little step further. Um, when you uh, do a deer drag um, with the urine, you'll put it on a piece of rag and you'll drag it to your stand. Right. Strongest scent's gonna be 
uh, where you start the drag and the weakest scent is going to be up there. So A lot of people have been doing it backwards. Yep. Exactly. So most of the time people drag away from their away from their stand, but as you're going to your stand, he took it a step further. Instead of having a drag, he created a foam base uh, with the urine in it, oxygen free, and you actually spray a foam glob as you go to your stand. So you actually see yes. where it's hitting the ground. You see where it's hitting the ground. And each time you spray, that scent is as strong in the first place as you dropped it as the last place at your stand. So Sounds like he's done his homework. Yes. It's a good, inter interesting concept. <laughs> yes, it is. So that, yeah, we started carrying it. We've been pretty successful at marketing and selling it uh, over the last year. We get a lot of deer hunters, as I mentioned earlier. Uh, they come down and they want something that they can go out there and hopefully kill a big buck with. So Next time I go in the woods, I will have some of that in my bag. Tell us a little bit about what you've expanded from and how you got started. Well, three years ago, almost to the date, um, we opened up uh, with a little less than probably 50, 60 guns in here, um, selling a few guns, doing special orders, and um, a lot of AR um, accessories and AR uh, completed uh, rifles, as well as you know uppers and lowers and those sort that, of things. Hence the name Tactical Outfitters, yes. right? So that's how you got started. But you have obviously expanded yes. well beyond that. Well, we do consignment. We buy, sell, trade. Um, since the concealed carry in Illinois started, uh, we really expanded into carrying a whole line of everything from Glock, SIG, um, Springfield Armory, uh, you name it, we, we can get it pretty much. Um, even some of the higher um, end guns, the Kimbers and the SIGs that we, we carry in stock. Um, people have an interest in being able to exercise their Second Amendment. Absolutely, and we're, we're proud to have you on board with that as well. I noticed that you have a lot of hunting, uh, hunting guns and a lot of hunting items, and you even got scent control stuff. So, I mean, you're really catering to the needs of all the guys in Southern Illinois around, it looks like. Well, as you know, Southern Illinois is uh, a pretty good uh, place to go hunt whitetail. And uh, we have a large group of people from Southern Illinois that come down here to Johnson and Polk County on, uh, on a regular occasion, as well as people from up north in Chicago. And um, we get customers from Alabama, Mississippi, Florida, Tennessee. They come up here specifically to hunt whitetail. Yeah, it's incredible. Say, say I come into your store and I find something that you don't have. What would I, what would I need to do? We, we do special orders. Usually we, we ask that you, you put a down payment on it. We'll research it and tr try to find the items that you're looking for, whether it's a shotgun, a rifle, a pistol, uh, accessories, uh, concealed carry um, inside the waistband, holsters, you, you name it. Uh, we'll try to accommodate our customers the best we can. Well, I noticed a sign out front when we were coming in that said concealed carry classes. Are you an instructor? Do you actually teach that? Yes, um, I was... Uh, uh, prior range instructor for uh, my employment that, uh, uh, through the Department of Corrections previously. And then um, I w went and got uh, certified as a National Rifle Association uh, pistol instructor for the basic pistol as well as the personal protection uh, side of it. And we've been teaching uh, concealed carry for probably going on um, at least uh, two years since it, since it started. I was one of the first ones in this area that uh, was started teaching. Awesome, awesome. So that's great. Like I said, obviously you went on well beyond your tactical outfitter stage and I do see a whole wall that you have of still with tactical yeah. jewelry on it. Oh yes, it's, uh, I, I like the AR-15 platform. One of my passions also. Mm -hmm. So you don't only just cover just the tactical, you cover deer hunting, yes. you cover turkey hunting, you got concealed carry weapons, you got high capacity pistols, you basically cover it all. Pretty much, um, I have to accommodate the needs of the local community as well as the surrounding communities uh, that come down here and shop. Uh, we've we've got a customer base that pretty much spreads out throughout Southern Illinois. We're a small gun shop. We try to we try to give good customer service to, so we have returning customers. If uh, if I was trying to figure out how to get here, Harry, what, how would you give me directions? In a small town, by in Illinois. Uh, it's right off Route 146. It's uh, less than a quarter mile from the interstate. Uh, I-24, exit 16. Easy directions, easy to get here. Well, as you can see, folks, we're not just talking about a tactical outfitter. We've actually have somebody right here that has uh, went well beyond the tactical outfitter, and he is catering to the needs of the Southern Illinois deer hunters, 
the the predator hunters, the turkey hunters, concealed carry. He basically meets all the needs of your your shooting, your plinking, your outfitters needs. So just I'd like to invite you all to come in, stop by and see Harry and Robbie, his wife here. They can help you out with any needs you got. And as he said, if he doesn't have it in the shop, more than likely he can find it for you. So come by and see us. Like again, I'd like to thank you once again for jumping on board with the drawn white tail, and we're glad to have you. Thank you. Thanks, folks.